Buenos dias, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you're on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, guys. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. Yes, I have an amazing view here in Playa de Carmen, Mexico. Today, again, two videos. One short video about the TA. I'm going to show you the four hour chart. Um, I'm going to maybe show you two other charts that I'm really interested in and looking at at the moment because I want to know what is going to happen to Bitcoin next. Are we going to crash to 40k? No, I don't think so. Or are we going to go to 70k? I don't know. So, <laughs> no one knows. You know the song? No. Over notes. but I'm going to try to analyze the charts for you guys in this beautiful short video today later today a beautiful video of our boat trip yesterday uh, with the family when we went snorkeling and all that stuff Didi you are talking too much again just jump into the charts let's jump in this first really cool chart I've been watching the last couple of days this one BAM no one knows how high is too high This chart, guys, you can see that this is the four hour chart. I'm going to take it on the screen for myself as well. I'm working with this OBS thing, still figuring all that stuff out. I'm a old dude, you see? Bitcoin, 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 Bitcoin. Cool shirt again. But um, this chart, let's take a look. Four hours, guys. What do we see in this four hour chart? We can see, um, like I saw, showed you last time, this line was like this in the last video. That meant that I saw a head and uh, left shoulder head right shoulder and i told you i think we will be picking out this is then the net this would be the neckline over over here this red line uh, this one this would be the neckline over there and that is how i drew it the last time i'm still thinking we are in this four hour chart and then we are still in, yeah we are definitely are i had a few much uh, drinks again yesterday on the boat uh, green juice again mm. but this is the head and shoulder pattern that showed me we were going to break out to around 68k let's say 70k whatever and you know it doesn't matter if you because now if we take that line from the top over there and we have one touch point over there and we have one touch point over there and now we are almost making another touch point over there so we are going to fight this resistance here this area around 59,000. but you can see that we are forming this huge wedge you see this one and it's going from the top till the bottom to the top till the bottom to the top are we going to break out over here or are we going to go to the bottom again and then again to the top and then break out that will be on the 13th of april after the weekend mostly in the weekend we see some crazy movements so that could be a possibilities and i think i don't know but if i yeah you know it's almost the same breakout that we need to uh, that we are expecting to 68k so even if it's a left shoulder head and a right shoulder and a breakout we are going to break out because you measure that from the head of the top to the neck line and then there or we are going to measure it from here to the top of the um, of this wedge guys and then we always go to the 68k level that is why i am not freaking out when i see bitcoin going like yesterday the huge dip yesterday the bear market of yesterday the bear market of yesterday yeah the bear market of yesterday was like really scary uh, sometimes if you look at all the youtubers their faces tell you that it's really scary but it's not that scary mostly if you just uh, always remember to zoom out and not to freak out um you know we were in this huge channel the bluish one that you see in the back uh, background uh, and we were reaching almost the bottom we saw the 200 ma so this is a huge area of support mostly and we saw the shoulder pattern so we saw the upcoming trend so yeah all those numbers did make me not freak out but zoom out we saw the bam bam indicator going up again you saw some positivity um as well on the margin call up oh, sorry the uh, still a little bit um yeah, you can see here the green area started we saw a green dot so there were a lot of signals to me um, that this was not going to crash if I would put on BAM this one you could even see on the four hour we saw a long flag and we saw a candle closing above the yellow stepping line and like I showed you before we saw the BAM BAM the blue line crossing the white line the white line was a 38 you can go all the way to 80 with this white line we saw the yellow and the blue declining we saw a green 
green dot, we saw the green area starting to grow, all indicators that that was a good long to take. That was the four hour chart. Let's jump into BAM, this chart, the Pi cycle. We are talking so much on the Pi cycle. Man, people are making you so afraid of this Pi cycle. The Pi cycle is stopping out. Okay, this is the only one minute in the video I'm going to spend to the Pi cycle because I have a different opinion about the Pi cycle. The Pi cycle. Every time this green and red line cross, so when the red goes above the green line, that should be the moment of the Pi cycle top that the market is correcting. Yes, it's correct there. Yes, it's correct there. Yes, it was correct there. And now people are saying, ah, we have this Pi cycle again. There will be this Pi cycle top again and the market will be, um, you know, going, reversing to the downside, bear market. This Pi cycle guy, guys is invented in March uh, 2019 I think so at that moment people start to draw the spy cycle and adjust it to those peaks so that it was a pi cycle top so it's not made over here where you predicted the tops no it's made over there and then we look back where were the tops and that's where the line should be crossing that's the first thing why I don't really find this the best indicator the second thing if we take a look at this huge bull run over here 2013 this is almost like bam like this we are going up like a rocket you know that's why we call it to the moon bam that's when we expect the market to top out here again 2014 bam straight up that's when we expect the market to be topping out in 2017 again guys i need to zoom in a little bit to see 2017 look look it's the last part this part is bam straight up that is when we expect the market to top out. Before, we have also small BAMs, but they are, look, these small uh, small runs and, 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 and dips. But the last one is this huge, almost like, almost vertical BAM right into the sky. Now let's look at today. Do you see this? Do you see a BAM going up? I don't see this. I don't see a vertical green line BAM going up. I see the structure that I saw in 2017 over here. Coming up, coming down, coming up, coming down. Look, coming up, coming down, coming up, maybe coming down. So this could be a small correction to the 50k level, but I'm not expecting the end of this bull run. And this line that everybody is referring to, the pi cycle top, should be predicting the end of the bull run. I don't see that structure. Man, even if you zoom into this one, if you zoom into 2017, it's more than one minute, you can see this looks like the end, but because of the choppy, choppy like character of the chart, this is not the end. We can't see this as the end. This is not possible. So in my opinion, this year, this doesn't look like the final run. We need to have one BAM! Green line. You know, if I need to draw it in green, if I would need to draw it in green, we need to have a candle like that, but then a green one. BAM! Straight up. Dead. Damn. BAM! Let's make it this bright green. Beautiful bright green. Dead. Th that is what I expect from a bull run. Straight up. Uh, some choppy, but this. Not this. This is not for me the end of the bull run. So, that's my opinion of the Pi cycle. Again, please always remember, I'm just a dude that is hauling his Bitcoin, that gets all in early and has some experience in Bitcoin. I know financial advisor at all. This is just my personal opinion on how I analyze the markets. Um, on the weekly chart, guys, we can see as well, we are still, you know, bouncing off this trend line here again, bouncing again. We are bouncing again. We are not breaking the trend line to the downside. If we would break, yes, we could have seen a pullback to the yellow line because this yellow yellow line in history has um, has been an important line you know we have been moving from 2019 April um, around that yellow line uh, Didi what is the yellow line let's see I will show, show you how you see this you can see this is the 21 weekly moving average so this is the last 21 weeks and you have always we move around that one you know and when we br we go up too far we come back and that is what we can see this yellow line will be like around 45k next week or something maybe we pull back down we will see and um, this here in the bottom the stock rsi is telling me it's not that easy to go uh, way more down man it's uh, this is like this needs to correct again to the upside look here this is a long time 26th of august 2019 we spent to 14th of october august september oh october three months we spent on the bottom 
now March. So this can take some time before we pull up again. We don't know. We just keep looking at the charts every day and then we make up our mind. If you're a day trader, you need to look them every day. If you're a spot trader, you just look at the charts in the bigger picture, the bam, bam and all that stuff. It's all um, not that difficult, but don't try to predict the future because we can't. We can only analyze the charts and we can look at the history like we do on this chart. There's the stock to flow ratio and we can look that the history tells us we should be following this white line and this white line is around 106k to 115k depending when we will reach it. And if we look back in history, we can see that when the blue goes into green and it's the amount of days until the next halving, uh, the green dark, it should be the top. Yes, we had red, we had blue, we are in green. Uh, this is not the top yet in my opinion because also here you can see this should be a lot of tuk -tuk 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 -tuk, like these dots on top of each other not like following I'm going to zoom in a little bit if it's possible like this it's not like we need to uh, follow up like very nightly we need to stack them stack them and then when you start stacking them ah shit my chart isn't loading guys then we should be reaching uh, then we should be reaching at uh, the top uh, ah here look so this here look the last top is like they are almost all on top of each other we're going up straight this is not that yet this is not that yet we need to go up, 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 up like that but that's my opinion um, do we have something else yes I need to do this maybe the video is getting too long again how can I even see how long I'm recording I'm recording 11 minutes again god <clears throat> okay um, let's jump into this next chart which is also a really cool one BAM this one because this is the bam bam trading and and the bam bam trading guys um, I need to show you like this I'm going to pull my thing over there okay this is perfect um, on this chart you can see that we traded yesterday and I was lucky because I did a boat trip yesterday and I left in the morning around 12 from the, the apartment and at one the boat left so I did a trade <coughs> in the morning early um, and, and and it was a long you know and I took a one hour long on the one hour chart you can see in the top over here there one hour chart aye, aye, wrong drawing tool did he uh, don't drink so much one hour chart um, and I learned a valuable lesson but I was lucky I went into the long I went onto the boat I started to drink tequila and because of the drinking I forgot to set my stop loss which now turned out to be very lucky this morning because I woke up and I was still in the trade so now I am still in the trade with a shitload of profit um, 3.5% with a leverage of 10 that's a 35% profit but that was luck normally when you're in profit over here you would set a trailing stop loss and then at that moment I would probably been stopped out over here so I would have had less profit now because I <clears throat> yeah okay I drank a little bit I forgot to it so I'm still in the trade that is the bam bam indicator guys um, if you want to know more about the bam bam indicator then please have a second bam if you want to know more about the bam bam indicator um, then please go to our discord channel as uh, you, you can click the link down below this video we will be talking there about Bitcoin blockchain and live all the information how to sign up to the bam bam indicator is all neatly um, there you can also go to ddbam.com that is the website there you can fill the form if you want more information and very soon our new website the bitcoinfamily.com is ready and there will be all the information with pictures with prizes very easy um, seeable very easy very easy <laughs> Very easy uh, you can look at the charts of uh, the website then and then uh, you can fill the form as well on the website and everything as well that was everything for today i hope you i helped you a little bit with not freaking out and zooming out the bird understood it the sun is burning on my head the hodl pad cap is there because i want to hodl my bitcoins in all different colors because we are a multi multicultural family and we are yes partly indonesian partly dutch yes uh, and the whole world is multi-culty and we are all one huge Bitcoin family that is changing the world bit by bit. That was good, bit by bit. Yes, thanks for watching. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and please leave a comment as I love to respond to your comments. Um, I wish you an amazing day, maybe an amazing weekend. Always remember, in the weekends on Saturday, a Dutch AMA and on Sunday, an English AMA, mostly around 9 o'clock European time in the evening when people need to be inside because of the lockdown. Uh, and always remember as well to boop, zoom out.
in Bitcoin and zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that's exactly what life should be about. Thanks for watching and see you later today in the family video or tomorrow or Sunday again. Bam!